I see this so commonly and I myself have experienced this. You know, we're trying to play a passage and for some reason, like our brains are just like not actually engaging. They're not switching on. And there are all kinds of really helpful little things you can do, like playing things in rhythms. But sometimes we need to kind of like give our brains like a cold shock. Whoa, wake up, dude. It's like time to start paying attention. I have done this little technique with so many of my students and it is so incredible to watch how they respond. Here is the basic concept of it. I like to think of this kind of like a game and you have to get a specific little passage right three times in a row in order to pass to the next level. And it has to be in a row. This is really, really, really important. We're trying to kind of convince your brain to really focus. So for example, if you can maybe take a scale that you struggle with, that you find quite tricky, I'm gonna take E minor. I have to really think about E minor. And if I don't think about E minor, you know, I might get confused like that. If I, I have to really think, I have to think about it, right? So what I'm gonna tell myself now is I say, okay, I have to get this right three times in a row. That means if I get it right the first time, mess up the second time, oh, got to start again, go back to one. If I get it right the first two times and then the third time I mess it up, guess what? I'm going back to one. Now, this sounds crazy, but it's like the most amazing thing. It's like a switch goes on in my student's brain and they're suddenly like, oh my goodness, like I'm going to be stuck playing this 500 times if I don't focus now. Because I think our brains sometimes get lazy. They get used to kind of being like, oh, well, if I mess it up, I can play it right the next time. Or I have a second chance or I have another go. But guys, in a concert, you don't have a second chance. There is no second go. You have one shot and one shot only. And we want to practice in this way. We want to practice in a one shot mentality. In this case, it's three shots in a row mentality. So let's do it. I'm going to do it first time. That was one. Okay, got it right. Very important with this is don't play things too fast, obviously, because if you're gonna play things too fast, you're never gonna get there. There is such a thing as overwhelming your brain. Don't, don't do that, that's silly. If you are doing this technique and you're not getting it right even the first time or the second time, it's probably too much too soon, it's probably too fast or too difficult, or you may need to like break this down still. Maybe there's some technical issues that are there that you need to solve first. So this isn't like just like you can plaster this on any problem. This is specifically when your brain is not actually focusing properly and is kind of shutting down. My brain really doesn't want to get this wrong because it really is like, I don't want to waste time here. I think our brains are really good at being super efficient, but sometimes they're a little bit too efficient. Like your brain is used to being like, ah, you know what? Yeah, I can do this again. Like, it's not serious. The consequences aren't real. Like it doesn't really matter. So you set yourself consequences. Suddenly your brain's like, whoa, okay. She's mixing this up a little bit. Okay, I'm listening. I'm paying attention. So that way I'm not leaving room for error. A quote that I once got on one of my blog posts was so nice. Practice doesn't make perfect. Perfect practice makes perfect. And that does not mean that you have to sound amazing and 100% perfect the whole time. That definitely is not what it means. I like to think that we should really not sound perfect most of the time, but it does mean that we should practice with our brains switched on and that we are trying to get things right rather than just being like, ah, I'll, I, doesn't really matter if I do or don't get this right. Think about it in terms of mathematics. If I play something wrong once, I'm gonna have to play it right at least one more time just to cancel out the wrong, right? I know it doesn't quite work like that, but okay, let's say that. And then I wanna play it right another time to reinforce the right, basically. So we're looking at like a two to one ratio. So if you're playing something mindlessly wrong five times in a row, technically speaking, you'd need to play it another 10 times right just to cancel out those five wrong. Like, that's crazy. You're playing this thing 15 times instead of just playing it through two times or once. I mean, I know we have to repeat things and it's not just a question of like, you play it right once and then it's right. But do you see what I'm saying? You're wasting such precious time. So that is what this three in a row rule is great for. Okay, guys, use it. Have fun with it. If you haven't yet, subscribe down below. Get notified when my videos come out and I will see you next time.